Welcome to Aditya's Education. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve practice set twenty. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. Now let's look how to solve it. The first question is: Draw the axis of symmetry of each of the figures below. Which of them has more than one axis of symmetry? We are going to draw here their axis of symmetry. So, what is axis of symmetry? A line which divides the given figure into two equal parts is called axis of symmetry. We learnt it in my last video with examples very well. So, let's draw a line here. Look. we have to draw the line as the given figure divided into two equal parts so here i am going to make my first line this one so this figure is divided into now two equal parts and the second line i draw that is horizontal line like this now this figure is divided by this line also into two equal parts so here we can find the axis of symmetry two axis of symmetries are there now the next second figure is about triangle so how can we draw axis of symmetry here like this we can draw a line here so the figure divided into two equal parts also we can draw a line like this this line also makes two equal parts of given figure and this one also so the figure triangle has a more than two axis of symmetry now in third question here i'm going to draw a line like this only vertical line so here we can draw only one line and now in the fourth question how can we draw our axis this is our first axis this line divides this figure into two equal parts we can also draw it like this this line is also divided into two equal parts of this figure make two equal parts of this figure and this is also so the the ask us question which of them has more than one axis of symmetry so question number 1 2 and 4 have more than one axis of symmetry this is our answer for first question just write it in your notebook Question one. Answer is the figures. You have to draw these figures in your notebook and then make axes like this. The figures, which are. more than a figure number 1 then this one is 2 and 4 1 2 and four 
The second question is write the capital letters of the English alphabet in your notebook. Try to draw their axis of symmetry. Which ones have an axis of symmetry? Which ones have more than one axis of symmetry? Here we have, we have to write English alphabets in our notebook and we are going to draw their axis of symmetry. After it, we have to find which ones have an axis and which ones have more than one axis. So let's draw it. Here I write the letters from A to Z. Now I am going to draw an axis of symmetry for it. For finding the answer of question 2, we have to draw the axis of symmetry for each and every letter. I am going to draw here, look, for A, we have an axis of symmetry like this. This line divide, divides A into two equal parts. Now, look, I can draw only this type of line. When we draw a horizontal line, we can't divide it A into two equal parts. So here, for B, we are going to make a horizontal line. This line divided B into two equal parts. Now for C, we are going to make also horizontal line. So C is divided into two equal parts. Here for D also, we are going to make here an horizontal line. So can D is divided into two equal parts. By vertical line, it is not divided into two equal parts. For E also, we are going to draw here an horizontal line. For F, we can't draw here a vertical line or horizontal line also. F is not divided into axis of symmetry. G is also have zero line of axis of symmetry. Then H for H we have here we can divide it by vertically also and horizontally also. How we look it in my last video. Now for I I can be also divided by horizontally and vertically. So it can be divided into two equal parts. Then for J, we can't draw here any axis for J, A and for L. Now for M, we have there one axis which is vertical. Then for N, there is a zero axis. O has two axes of symmetries. One and two. Vertical and horizontal. Then we have zero axis of symmetry. Q also and R and S also. Now T have one axis of symmetry. We can draw it vertically. Or divide it vertically so T gets two equal parts. Here you have one axis of symmetry. Like this. We also have one axis of symmetry like this. W also have one axis of symmetry so it can be divided into two equal parts. X have two axis of symmetries. Like this and this one vertical and horizontal. Then why also have one axis of symmetry 
like this and third have zero axis of symmetry so when we observe this a to z alphabets we find that a have vertical axis of symmetry a vertical line of symmetry b c d e have horizontal line of symmetry in this row then for h i j k l m n m have one line of axis of symmetry and h and i have two axis of symmetry there are two lines of axis of symmetry for h and i j k l and n have zero line of axis of symmetry then for o p q r s t u we find here only o have two lines of axis of symmetry and t and u have one line of axis of symmetry p q r s have zero lines and in v w x y z z have zero line of axis of symmetry v w and y have one line and x have two lines so the question asked to us is which ones have an axis of symmetry so which ones have an axis of symmetry the first of questions answer is a b c d e h i k m o t u v w x and y these have axis of symmetry the second question is which ones have more than one axis of symmetry so our answer for it is h i then o and x have more than one axis of symmetry third question the question is use color a thread and a folded paper to draw symmetrical shapes here we are going here we are going to draw a symmetrical shape with a thread first of all we have to fold this paper for question number 3 is answer fold it into two equal parts like this so you can see here easily an axis of symmetry now i am going to use here a thread for making a symmetrical figure look the thread is like this and it is a colored thread now here i am going to keep it like this like this then fold your paper now pull this thread like this look here we have our figure and its symmetrical figure on the paper our third question is complete now this is the symmetrical shape we draw here by using thread and color now fourth question is 
observe various commonly seen objects such as tree leaves, birds in flight, pictures of historical buildings, etc. Find symmetrical shapes among them and make a collection of them. You have to make it by yourself. Collect the pictures of historical buildings like Taj Mahal or any historical building you find and then try to draw the symmetrical shapes or try to draw an axis of symmetry for it then you can find symmetrical shapes among them then take a tree leaves there you can also find a symmetrical shapes just fold the leaves you can see the symmetrical shape easily there here for birds in flight I don't have now a bird's picture but I, ha I have a butterfly here which is in flight when I fold this paper like this or like this I can find here an axis of symmetry now I am going to fold this paper so this two parts of its wings falling on each other like this look here now you can easily see here an axis of symmetry look when I dark this line you can find it easily look this this is an axis of symmetry just like a butterfly it is an insect you have to find birds in flight just collect the pictures and find an axis of symmetry or find symmetrical shapes among them and make a collection of it in your notebook so this is the solution of our practice set 20 i hope you will understand it very well just write it in your notebook and see you in next video thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you